Hi, I'm Erin Henley, professional makeup artist, and today I'm going to show you how to use your makeup remover pads. Grab your packet, grab one out. The most important thing about removing your makeup is that you get it all gone. And also, we're going to start with the area of the face that has the least amount of makeup. And basically, just work it in using little circles. Not, a t not too much pressure, we don't want to cause irritation. We're just trying to remove the top layer of the makeup off. I like to start with the forehead and then work my way down over the skin. It's important to really get into the crevices of the skin because those areas are where the makeup can collect the easiest. And it's often the things that we forget about the most. After you do the skin, dictate which area, when it comes to the eyes or lips, that has more product on. We always want to start and then go in between. The lips don't have too much product, so that's why we're going there second. And we're always finding a clean spot on our remover pad, so we're not applying makeup we just removed off. The lips are done. We save the most makeup to remove for last because we don't want to be putting it all over the skin that we just cleaned. Find a clean spot. Be extra gentle on the eyes, just little strokes. And work it in little circles as well. Kind of a downward motion works. And look up. Got that and look down. And then we can always come from the outside in. And do that to both sides. Always finding a clean spot. If you decide that you have a lot of makeup on and you need to use more than one makeup remover pad, please do so. Because, like I said, the point is to get rid of as much makeup or all the makeup as possible to create a clean canvas. Remember the top of the eye, the bottom of the eye, and in the crevices, not using too much pressure to cause irritation, and we have a clean surface. I'm Erin Henley, and I showed you how you can reuse your makeup remover pads.